Manchester United are interested in Marco Arnautovic. The day that the club are humbled, the day that the club are embarrassed by Brighton at home, a lacking front line, Cavani is gone, Martial out injured, no replacement purchase yet for Greenwood, who rightfully had to leave the football club. Ronaldo seemingly looking to move. A star target, the main young up-and-coming target for Eric Ten Hag, rejected Manchester United for Liverpool. We understand that. The second main target, being outpriced by Ajax, started the summer at 40 million, now 100 million euros. The third player targeted by the football club in Benjamin Sasko, being quoted at 55 million euros, and the Glazers are not prepared to spend the money. So what are we going to end up with? We're going to end up with a a shot 33-year-old who wasn't good enough in the Premier League in the first place, leading the line for Manchester United, especially if Ronaldo ends up going. It's the start of Ten Hag's era, and this club has let him down. And I feel embarrassed as a Man United fan because I've remained a little bit too patient and a little bit too calm. And you know what? The Glazers have done it to us again. They've done it to us again. They're cheating the process and they're breaking the rebuild. million euros is the quoted price for Man United target Marco Arnautovic. This is a player who, 33 years of age, yes, he's playing in Serie A, a very good level, technically a good footballer. I'm reading by all accounts, he's a very good guy, very good in the dressing room, great with the soft fact elements, progressive player, someone the manager maybe even likes, maybe even the manager likes him. And maybe I'm reacting to this. I'm in a bad mood after all of our rivals picked up points this weekend. Only Liverpool dropping points, but we know they're going to come good. Their new star striker looking great. City looking devastating. Chelsea getting the job done, and they've got a long way to improve, but they will. Spurs looking majestic. Arsenal looking sensational. And we were absolute dog poo. Dog poo. Obliterated in that first half by Brighton. Did better in the second, but still nowhere near their standard. And I'm angry. I'm angry because we've done this before when we signed Igalo. Tried to get Haaland, didn't get the deal done, signed Igalo. We have this habit of panic buying at this club. And my anger isn't with the individuals we're looking to bring in. My anger isn't, do you know what? I put faith in us doing the right thing. I was bringing in a new regime. We were looking like we were going to be pinpoint. We're going to go for the main targets. We're going to get those main targets. We were promised those main targets by Richard Arnold. But we're going to go for those main targets. That hasn't happened. Our negotiation team have not been good enough. Point blank. There's two separate things going on here. I stand by Eric Ten Hag. I stand by him in terms of only sign the players that he wants. I'm happy to wait. One window, two windows, three windows, including January in that, to land the manager's number one target if that player is available. And there's a reason we can't get it done. What I'm not happy to start seeing is us going after substandard quality players just to fill holes. Us not spending the money. The players we want are available. We just have to spend the money. Let's just cut through the BS now. I'm sick and tired of protecting people. The money's available. Benjamin Shishko, one of the best up-and-coming attackers in European football. Yes, it might cost you 40 million, 45 million pounds. Get it done. Yes, I know we want De Jong. But by all accounts, it looks like if he does leave Barca, it's Chelsea that he's going to go to. Talk some Gerard Romero of PSG coming back in, even though they've already made two brilliant signings in the middle. Of course, Vitini is there. It was spoken about today that Fabian Ruiz will go there. You've now got the situation with maybe Frankie De Jong. We're not getting De, we're not getting De Jong now. De Jong will still leave Barcelona, in my opinion, but he isn't going to go to Manchester United. 
So let's stop wasting time. It's okay to wait for your number one targets, but not if your number one targets are not going to be available. What isn't right is to chase Darwin Nunes, to chase De Jong, to go after brilliant young Benjamin Sesko all summer and end up with Marco Arnautovic for 15 million euros. Give that 15 million euros to De Jong in extra wages. He might join then. That's maybe a better option. I don't know. Is it that we're over, we're overreacting as Man United fans because we lost today? Maybe, maybe not. But there's something about this that stinks. There's something about this that does not sit right with me. And I want to quote Lies on this. Don't cheat the process. Buy the players the manager wants. Spend the money, the money that the manager needs. Now, I understand and advocate that we should. I don't think we should sign more than five or six players in one summer. I think in, integrating them and getting it to work. Five players, maybe six, is as far as you go. You sign the number one, maybe number two targets of, of managers. If you start going to thirds and fourth choices because they've signed for other clubs or we couldn't get the deal done, I think you wait. But Man United are starting to take the piss now. They're starting to take the piss out of the fans. We've got, we got a top target in a centre-back. We've got a top target at left-back. We've got one of our top targets in a midfield area with Christian Eriksen. With De Jong, OK, wait. But go and spend the money elsewhere. Go and land that new attacker that we need. Go and add some additional steel to our midfield. These positions have been required at Man United for a long time. Now, I've been patient because that's just my nature. But I'm running out of patience now. A lot of Man United fans will say, well, we've, we've been saying this from the start of the window. And that's fair play on you. This ain't about fans going at each other. This is about me speaking my mind and you giving your opinions on that. That's what content creating is. We have to sign the manager's targets. My point is, I'm getting annoyed because I don't think we're going to do what I'm waiting for us to do. I, I don't think we should have panic bought seven, eight weeks ago and just gone, oh, who's available and just bought them. We should be spending the money that Richard Arnold promised. The weekend around the 18th of June, I remember that date because I was at my mother's birthday dinner the night that Richard Arnold's video got leaked. It was in around the 18th of June. He said 100, 200 million, whatever it costs, we can get it done. But you're not signing his targets, are you? You're lying. More than one thing can be true at once. You don't have to panic buy. You don't have to settle for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, twelfth players. You just need to spend the money. Where is the money? Where is the money gone? That's the big question. That's why I'm annoyed. That's where my frustration is. Where is the goddamn money? Today's show is sponsored by Private Internet Access. And this is something I use on my personal computers, work computers, and on my devices. Whenever you're using an open network for internet, whether at a cafe, whether you're at the airport, shopping center, wherever that may be, you need to encrypt yourself and ensure that your personal data is being protected at all times. Private internet access is available all around the world. And as I've mentioned, you can use it on your smartphone, your smart TV, laptops, iMacs, whatever it is that you use. This also gives you the availability to access content worldwide. So when you're traveling, it doesn't matter if you want to use your Netflix, the iPlayer, YouTube, wherever you are in the world, the VPN via private internet access gives you the ability to do so. Now, what the Football Terrace can do for you is give you an 82% discount on this product plus three months three. All you need to do is click on the link in the description or scan the QR code on your screen during this video to sign up now. Time for patience this summer is over. Go out and spend that money. The Glazers are tight, and we know this. Very, very tight indeed. But more protests are needed, more noise is needed, because they're letting down the new manager. They're tre- cheating the process. They're putting us into a position where we're having to play substandard players. We need to get rid of this bloated squad. We need to move some players on. The fact that Phil Jones is still here is an absolute nightmare. All of this is getting in the way of the, the club moving forward under Terek, Eric Ten Hag. They are undermining everything that he is trying to achieve. And as I've stated, we as fans have become polarized on this. I stand by the fact that we should be fighting tooth and nail and to the end for the manager's number one targets. But we need more than Frankie De Jong. So separate the money needed for Frankie De Jong and go and buy the other players. 
Stop penny pinching. Stop scrimping. Stop leaving us in a situation today where we don't have the right level of player. And on top of that, Marko Alnautovic, do me a favor. I mean, with all due respect to the man, he is no, he ain't Premier League quality, let alone the quality that Man United need to get us back challenging. Not on your Nelly. He is McFred level. He is, or he is that kind of guy. He's just the kind of guy that no other top six club's going to look at. So why the hell are we? I want your thoughts and I want your feelings. This summer is starting to fall apart. It started well. The process was right. The execution has gone wrong. The performance today was abysmal. And these Glazers are ruining this rebuild. They 